to come up and see you in a few. If someone would have warned me that this was going to happen, I would have trained Samson to come up here and bark in the mic for a couple minutes. Um, but thank you, Mark, for you know giving me the advice to jot something down because this would be even more of a mess if uh, if he didn't tell me to do that. Um, it's beyond humbling to stand up here with the men that got nominated this year uh, and in front of you all. Uh, they, as well as a, as a bunch of folks that I work with in Area 1 on a day-to-day -day basis and past nominees, deserve this way more than I do. Um, the nomination mentions some of the things that made this fall so wild, uh, but it doesn't talk about all the people that helped. Um, i got to thank everyone in Area 1, every single one of those guys, Area 13, Area 14, all the parks officers that helped, Kohler, Harper, Ken, Petersburg for supporting um, a couple of those cases enough to uh, make us, give us the capabilities to go investigate them fully. It's cliche, or it may sound cliche, but it truly wouldn't have happened. This fall wouldn't have gotten done if it wasn't for everyone that helped, so thank you all. We've got a hell of a tradition in this agency of coming together and getting the job done. And that's one of the reasons why it makes me so proud to work for this agency. I'd be lying if I said that this wasn't a goal of mine to achieve by the end of my career. I don't think I deserve it yet. But I promise I'll keep getting better and I'll keep working at this craft. So at the very least, by the end of it, I feel I deserve it. I need to thank some other folks. I want to thank my family. And my friends, I don't thank you enough for your love and support. I don't tell you how much it means to me enough. Thank you all. I need to thank God for letting me do what I love. I want to thank Bill for teaching me horsemanship and opening up a part of my life that never would have happened without him. I've got the best boss I could ever ask for. The most rewarding part of my career was getting the dog and working with Samson. And it wouldn't have happened if I didn't have Mark for a boss. Him going to bat for me is what made that happen. And I need to thank that dog. I got Samson when I was going through my divorce. And he gave me something positive and inspiring to focus on while going through a dark season of life. I owe that dog a lot. Thanks, Sam. Lastly, I want to thank John Hood. I wanted to be a game warden since I was 13 years old, and I almost didn't get to. If it wasn't for John, I don't know if I would have gotten the opportunity to do what I love. Thanks, John. We have the best job on earth. We're truly doing God's work, and we need to not lose sight of that. This means more to me than anyone could ever know. Thank you.
Thank you.